Greetings. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you a little bit about the uh, very exciting Servpan shopping cart. Uh, it's designed to allow your um, technicians, salespeople, uh, comfort master folk, whoever, in order to uh, actually price and review information directly while sitting in front of the client. Um, we're finding some people, their technicians prefer using it even when they're just detailing their tickets. Um, to access this, number one, you need to make sure that you have the correct version, you have everything turned on, contact support, they'll help you with that. But if you look here, I'm on an order, uh, so remember where we are, I'm actually sitting here on a ticket, page one, and up across the top you see this button called a cart. When I click on this, it opens up a shopping cart. Now, whatever is in my detail would automatically be showing up in here. This does support print flags, by the way. So items that have a print flag of no are not going to be displayed in here. Um, now, I'm going to go in. I'm going to say add, and it's going to bring up a search screen. I can have my bundles. These could be uh, system uh, options that we're selling. And I can select, if I click on any one of them, when I pull it up, you'll notice that we have imager, images, and I can have any number of images that are associated with an item. I'm using my finger to slide here. That's why you're not seeing it. I'm going to scroll up. I have my quantity, as you can see, my uh, price. I can, if I, security allows me to see that price, if it's a flat rate item, I can click and I can actually change which price I'm going to use here. Uh, now, there is actually a setting in the cart that says determines whether or not pricing is even going to be displayed in the, sh the shopping cart when doing these searches. Uh, and if that is turned off, what happens is you'll see that uh, you don't see any prices in here, but you can go through the specs and the various things with the client and then build out everything they want. And then you're going to review pricing as a grand total in the shopping cart, uh, something that uh, folks are have obviously requested. But you notice down here at the bottom, I see similar items. And these similar items would basically be my other kind of good, better, best options. You can have any number of similar items. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, back out of here and go back to my list. I think I had, uh, let's see, let's grab this guy here. And I wanted to show where I had accessory items in here. Go click on it. There, open it up. Again, any number of pictures or images. And down here in the bottom, you notice I have similar and I have accessory items. I'll show you where that's set up in the ServeMan side here in a little bit. Uh, but you hopefully you get the idea just by looking at this. I'm going to go ahead and add that item to the cart. Now I can continue shopping or I can view the cart. I'm going to go ahead and continue shopping. And I'm now going to go uh, back up go back to the list that I was looking at. I'll just keep backing out this time, and I'm going to go into flat rates, and I have a few thermostats and some other things set up in here. I'm going to grab a uh, digital programmable thermostat, and again, I've got my thermostat in here with my pictures. You can have any number of images, and this is, I'll show you what people are doing, is they're doing things like this. So, you know, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to remove and re you know, recycle the old equipment, install this. We're going to program it to your requirements, demonstrate the operation of the equipment to you, five-year parts of labor warranties included, things like this where you're basically scripting your uh, technicians a little bit better. Again, we come down here. Excuse me, and I have my price, and I could change that, and I have my similar items. I'm going to go ahead and add this item to my cart. Now, back here on the cart, you'll notice, again, I have the two items that I uh, had, had selected. Again, from here, from Inven in the Clark, I can click Open Back Up, Back to that screen, so I can review with the customer the items that we've got in the cart, and I can kind of handle it like that. Uh, but you also notice over here it says you could save 390 that you could save $25 on this item. Now, how would I save that? That would be if they bought a, uh, a maintenance agreement. If they had a maintenance agreement, it would go on there. And to kind of demonstrate that, um, if I were to change the price on this, this would say you saved $396 or you saved $25 if I had chosen the preferred one or preferred two pricing out of their flat rate catalog. So that's kind of cool. 
If you look up here across the top, you'll notice that there's a banner, you know, ask me how I can earn $20. These banners can be as big or uh, whatever as you're looking at. I say there are some constraints, obviously. Um, but they're made, again, to use to kind of prompt the customer. And the example I'm giving here is maybe we're, uh, we give a $20 referral fee if they can give us a referral right there when we're sitting in front of them. Now, whatever I have put on this item at this point in time, if I go back, if I hit the home button, I'm back into serve man. You'll notice I hit the traditional uh, screen here. Here are my items. Everything's detailed onto that ticket. So whether I put an item in over here, you know, by the traditional way that we always have, just by adding the item here, or if I put them onto the cart, they all go to the same place. Uh, everything's the same. So the same thing after that, when I'm checking out with the customer, I'm coming in here, I'm grabbing their payments, the deposits. This works with quotes. It works with all of the same kind of traditional things that we're doing with ServeMan uh, in general. I hope you find that um, interesting. Uh, holler at, uh, talk to your project manager uh, if you're interested in getting this deployed at your building. Now, let me take a moment here and I'll show you what's going on at the back office. Okay, uh, looking at our items, I've opened up an item record for one of the thermostats that we were looking at. We see everything's traditional here, my descriptions. I, uh, this, these particular items are actually set up as flat rates, so I've got my preferred pricing uh, set up here. But you'll notice here you have the linked items tab if you've been wondering what this is. These, anything that's in a similar are going to be the, again, the options. You know, I would take this or this or this that kind of thing. You can have any number of items listed in here. Accessories are going to be in addition to. So down here, I can go in, just have, add an accessory item and basically take any item that's in my, uh, data, in my database, put it over. It's going to show up as an accessory. So that's how those things work. I'm going to remove this, clean up after myself. Now images, if you hit the image button right here, you say manage images. And that pulls up a little screen like this. And remember those two images that we had going on in there? That's where they're coming from. You have any number of images. They all sync down. Now, one of the really kind of cool things built into uh, mobile is remember that ServeMan Mobile will operate disconnected from the office. On the images, if you've done a sync and you've got those items down there, those images will just come down one time. It's not trying to pull them down every time. If the image is never loaded up before, when they open that item, it will go up and it does require that link in order to get that image down. But what it'll do is it'll pull it down, but then it caches it on the local device and it actually stays there until you do a complete uh, kind of a clean and start over synchronization. I hope that that helps you and I hope that you're excited and you want to use this thing. I know that we're excited about it. We've been getting a lot of great feedback on it. Thank you.